All right, I'm gonna make a quick commentary here on the differences between powdered metal rods and forged connecting rods. The forged connecting rod starts out as a casting, and then they, they actually cut the casting in half, and then they put the two pieces together and make and machine very precisely the rod bearing. The powdered metal connecting rod is they take powdered metal and they press it together in very, very high pressure and very, very high heat. And then they, they, make, they cut a machine process out. The actual machining in the forged rod where the two halves fit, they take that out and they machine it when it's together like, like uh, in one piece and then they actually snap it and break it here. That's why there's the uneven surfaces here, the unmachined surfaces where the connecting rod goes together. Now there's a lot of hoopla out there in cyberland on some of these forms and whatnot that the forged rod is a much better rod than the, than the powdered metal rod, okay? Maybe if you're going drag racing, okay? Because I'm here to tell you all the six liters got powdered metal rods and I've yet to see one come apart there. More often than not, when you have an engine failure from RPM, it's the piston that fails. Just like this piston is on its way to failing, there's a huge crack in the side of the piston here. That's from high RPM. Particular rod and piston, this powdered metal one, came out of a 425 horsepower engine. Okay, that, that, and it, RPM is usually what kills the connecting rods and the pistons. It, it'll actually break up in here from being the, pulling the piston back on the downstroke, and it usually will rip the piston before it breaks the connecting rod. Look, you can make a lot of horsepower with, uh, with powdered metal rods. It's not that big a deal. Like I say, six liters all have them. But if you're going to go to a straight drag race situation where you go to forged pistons where it doesn't fail in this area, then you really want the uh, forged rod and you need to have it all balanced and whatnot. But that's a whole different world. You're talking $2,800 for a set of forged pistons. We're going into the, the $20,000 engine area here, okay? But on normal everyday driving, driving around, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the powdered metal rods.